What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. It is also the only place that I honor requests. I will show you anything you want to know in any doll, not just Studio One. Also, please don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself some MIDI, get yourself some samples from Asha Cole, Shane, Bluff God, Pupil of Society, Tick, and the rest of the team at cmpkits.com. Follow me on Instagram. It is the fastest place to get a response from me if you're having trouble with anything music related or not. Now today, we're gonna to be going into uh, how to sample in Studio One once again. So I found this, I, I, I recorded this piece in and I found this really cool piece. And when I'm working like this, I, I'll listen to a song and I'll hear something that's interesting and then I'll try to approach flipping it, right? So what I heard was this piece here. The two of us are born again. Think of Just that little string fall, that dee 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 dee. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to catch the, the tempo. I know that Studio One now has this, uh, this feature where it'll try to guess the tempo for you. It doesn't look like it's done that for us here, so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Which right, so let's let's start with here. This looks like a transient. All right, so we'll hit it with a tap tempo, right? Only pray the two of us are born again. We get some kicks and snares to line up on the beat, make it easy. This is the snare right here. I'm just going to going to adjust the tempo. You gotta love these old songs, man. No quantize, no quantize. Only pray, only pray the two of us. Oh. All right, so I'll do that. Only pray the two of us. I'm only pray hard again. This is where that yeah. piano. Think of Hit this right here. Hit this on the chord change. I'm just I'm just listening for musical changes because that's gonna work best when you chop, right? Right there. Got a little music change. Hit this one right here. And then what and then what I like to do is I'll highlight it, right? And I will go, I have a command, a key command for um, creating auto fades. You can just right click and um, go to audio, create auto fades. And that'll stop you from clicking and popping. When you do this next step, I'm going to go to send to new sample one, right? Hit this with follow song tempo. All right, so now I'm gonna put a filter on it and get that low end out of there. Um, get a, let's get a high pass on it. Dun, 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 
Alright, now we take this and I'm gonna bounce it. I got this uh this last piece right here. You see how that's getting cut off? That's an easy fix. Now I want to hear you guys in the comments talking about e this you Serato sample. This is for people who just got Studio One. They don't got Serato sample. We're gonna do this. Right, and we're gonna hold down. We're gonna hold down Option or Alt in the bottom uh, right-hand corner of the region, and just drag it out, and that'll time stretch it. Right, you fix your chop like that. Right, boom. So now you're set. Command B. All right, so now we can hit this with a little, I'm gonna use the uh, SSL channel strip and just get rid of some of the, some of the high frequencies, get rid of those hi-hats. I want to hear what this sounds like also. Alright, that's interesting. And now we can go to our drum tracks. Depending on uh, depending on which way you want to go with this track, you could do you could do more of like a trap, do more like a trap based thing. and key for something like this to find the key real quick. That's telling me like, yo, that is E flat major. In studio one known as D sharp.
this hi hat. That's uh that's it and that's all you got to do to uh you know to get something to get something going you know real quick a nice a nice idea from Tracklib um you know just go ahead and snatch it record it record it straight straight in that way you don't have to waste the download especially if you're just like demoing it out or whatever and you're trying to figure out if it's even gonna work um and <clears throat> as you can see like. There's there's many different ways to go about it, but you don't have to go and get like a third party sampler. There's more than enough tools inside Studio One to be able to <clears throat> go find your chops. Just remember, you know, try to find your BPM first. And when you're listening for samples, all you want to do, like if you're a producer and you've been and you've been programming your own chords, this should be super simple for you. Just listen for each one of those chord changes, each one of those chord changes is going to be a chop each one of those each one of those vocals are going to hit in there you're going to find you're going to find something cool pitch it up or down a little bit easy 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 work guys this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com this is sampling inside studio one keep it simple but don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one